This is the Uptick Newswire Stock Day Podcast, sponsored by InvestorsHangout.com. Subscribe to us on iTunes, Google Play, and YouTube to stay up to date on penny stock news and interviews, public information on OTC, pink sheets, and microcap stocks from around the world, with your host, Marcus Heatherly. Welcome to another edition of Stock Day. Today we're very excited to have a returning guest. Uh, they've been on a couple times previously, though it's been a little over a year and a half. Last time they were on was January 2017. We're talking about no other than Helix TCS Inc. They trade on the OTCQB under the ticker symbol HLIX. And with us is the CEO, Zachary Venegas. Zachary, welcome back to the show. Good morning. Thank you very much for having me again. If you would, just give us a brief overview of what your company does. Sure. Uh, Helix TCS is the leading integrated services provider for the cannabis industry, which means we provide security, logistics, and seed-to-sale tracking software on a national basis for the legal cannabis industry. Got it. Got it. Since you were last on the show, where is Helix TCS in comparison to where you said you were going to be at this time? So that's a great question. So when we were last on the show, we were just under $3 million in revenue with uh, two primary lines of business and logistics and security. We're now at $12 million in revenue wow. uh, with four different uh, significant lines of business. So we have logistics and security, but we also are the largest uh, seed-to-sale tracking system in the nation. And we've also uh, greatly expanded our other software offerings, meaning monitoring and remote uh, observation of grows and dispensaries. Got it. Now the seed to sale, is that through the, the BioTrack THC? Correct. Okay, got it. I saw that you had that merger closed uh, back in June. Is that right? That is correct. So that was, that deal was a, a long time coming, as they say. Uh, yeah. And frankly, there have been lots of people that tried to acquire that firm because of its uh, its market share and prevalence. They're either number one or number two in commercial and government applications in nearly every state they compete in. And so it took a long time. It was a difficult uh, process, but we managed to get it done. That's excellent. So speaking of M&A activity, it's obviously been spiking in the cannabis industry. What is your view on that, and what is your strategy in regards to M&As moving forward? Right. So, a- absolutely. So, if you look at just general M&A and activity, it's at least doubled since last year, and, and I believe it doubled since the year before. Um, that's driven, we believe, through two distinct uh, halves. One is consolidation among producers, because... Now, as the cost of cannabis has dropped precipitously, as everyone knows, you have people that aren't as competitive and they're being consolidated on that side. Mm -hmm. And then what you have is a more accretive type of M&A where you have uh, service providers that are not able to make it on their own, some of the smaller ones, um, combining together so that they can, uh, within their, in a sort of roll-up fashion, so they can become more competitive. And we were lucky enough to kind of get ahead of the first one and therefore ahead of the second one since we were able to expand our business lines because we started acquiring well well before the sort of tr- it became fashionable or, or very prevalent um and so we've kind of uh, managed to avoid some of the high pricing that that's going on now but uh certainly m&a activities has picked up a lot and we'll continue to roll up uh firms that we think are accretive to our business in the future you're listening to Zachary Venegas. He is the CEO of Helix TCS, Inc. The TCS is for Technology Compliance and Security. You can find them on the OTC QB under the ticker symbol HLIX. They're trading around $1.30, $1.40 right now. Market cap uh, just over $91 million. Uh, pretty undervalued here when you consider the revenues that they've posted in the past year. Zachary, what is Helix's strategic outlook going into the end of 2018 and into 2019? So we will continue to strategically acquire. We have a, as we have in the past, we have a very specific plan that we'll stick to very, uh, very closely. We've been able to hit our revenue numbers every year since we've been. Uh, um, since we've been in business because we are pretty disciplined about what we do and how we do it and when we do it. Um, So we'll look at the same general game plan, but uh, depending on the rollout of certain key states, we're making a hard push into California. We already have, we already have clients there and we're already doing some pretty interesting things uh, on the ground that will be announced uh, down the road. You think California will be kind of the market that you try to push into with such a large population there? 
Yes. I mean, California, in many ways, it's the thing that everybody's waiting on because it's such a massive state uh, with such a, a large cannabis market already. So once the growing pains of rolling out the legal cannabis regulations exactly. um, and enforcement are over, then we think it'll be a tremendous opportunity. It's, it's really, there's no rocket science there. However, um, what is a little bit trickier is being able to continue to grow and remain robust while many of the markets that everyone is are counting on roll out in stopgap fashion you have to, because they come out everybody's a year late so everyone's making budgeting plans on having an x amount of revenue in y amount of time but that 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 y amount of time often becomes 2y or 3y or 4y you have to have a plan for that as well no you're absolutely right you're tuned into stock day we have Zachary Venegas with us today. He's the CEO of Helix TCS. Zachary, is there anything that we didn't touch upon maybe that you'd like to get out there to our listeners? Uh, I think we touched on the key issues. I do think your comment is correct, though. I think if you look at uh, where we were as compared to where we are and how we've executed on, executed on our strategic plan, I also feel that you know, in any kind of peer analysis, uh, we have many firms that are close to what we do in terms of business and or what they say they do with fractions of our revenue that trade many times higher than our stock price. So I do think that there's, there's, uh, the market is not looking at us uh, in the right way. But uh, other than that, I think the relevant information is out there. Absolutely. Well, I've looked at your company a little bit and to see that you've been around a while uh, to know a little bit about your background. Very excited to have you guys back on the show. Hope that you'll come back on in 60 days or so and give us an update about what's going on with your company. Thank you again for your time. Really appreciate it, Zachary. And thank you very much for having me on. It's a pleasure as always. This program is entirely sponsored and produced by Uptick Newswire, LLC, which is responsible for the content. The opinions and information provided on this program are those of the guests and those of the respective companies they represent and do not necessarily reflect those of the staff or management of Uptick Newswire. Uptick Newswire encourages all listeners of this program to do their due diligence and research when determining investment strategies that will work for them or to seek the assistance of an investment professional. The guests of this program may have paid for its distribution and are not directly affiliated with Uptick Newswire or the station.